guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have probably one of my most requested videos and that is an updated brow routine and how I fill in my brows. I'm so excited to show you guys this because I get so many questions and DMs and comments asking if I can show you how I fill in my brows and what products I use. So that is what I'm doing today. So if you wanna stick around to see how I fill in my brows, then just keep on watching. So my brows rarely ever grow, so they kind of always look like this. And I kind of just tweeze a little in the front and then a little bit around here. And then right here, which is my problem area, is right here where the arch should be. I have no hair growth, so they look like this all the time. And I do trim my brows because sometimes they do get kind of long and crazy, but I don't need to trim them today because I trimmed them a few weeks ago and they really haven't grown that much. So this is what my brow looks like from the start with no product in it at all. And then I'm gonna use this Tarte Angled Brow Brush. It has a spoolie on one end and then the brush on the other end. So I'm gonna take the spoolie side and then I just brush my brows out. I kind of just place them where I want them to be and then I brush any product that got into my brows out with the spoolie. To fill in my brows, I'm using the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder in shade three. And then I pick up the darker shade of the brow powder and then I'm gonna line the bottom of my brow. And now picking up the lighter shade, I start right about here because I do have a lot of fullness right here. So I start and I place the brush on an angle and then I start drawing in the top of my brow. And then for my arch, I like to mix both the shades together and then I lay the brush flat and then just go off into a rounded shape and create that arch. And then I'm gonna darken up the tail and connect everything. And then with the darker shade, because I do have sparseness right here, I like to just go in and fill that in and make sure that you can't see any skin peeking through. And then for the front of my brow, I pick up the lighter shade and I'm just going to draw a line on the bottom of my brow. And then I like to just flick the product up. I don't like to apply too much product in the front of my brow. And then with the spoolie, I'm just going to brush through my brows just to soften the product and then place the brow hairs where they need to go. Now going into the Benefit Ready Set Brow Gel, I'm first gonna brush my brows in the front and then lay them the way I want them and then brush through the rest of my brow and make sure that everything is nice and clean looking and in place. And that's it, this is my brow filled in. So this is what my brows look like filled in and don't forget that your brows are not twins. They should be sisters, mine are not even distant cousins, I don't even think they're relatives, I think they both live on a different planet but one grows this way, one grows up. It's just a mess. But I try and fill them in as closely as possible, and there you go. Nobody can even see that eyebrow now. <laughs> and to be honest, brows is probably the least favorite part of doing makeup for me. I hate doing my brows, but the brow powder actually does save me a lot of time rather than doing it with a pomade or a pencil. I do sometimes still use those products, but I always like to stick with my powder. I just feel safe and <laughs> just nice and soft and quick for me. And Benefit has my favorite brow product, so definitely check out that foolproof brow powder. It's amazing. So if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down description box. And also a list of all the products that I use today to fill in my brows will be linked down below in the description box. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!